The stock market is in turmoil and things are looking pretty ugly. Or is it? That's what I'm thinking. Before we jump into today's episode of what I'm thinking, I wanted to remind everybody, hit that subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube or forward this along to somebody that you think might be interested in it. We're trying to expand the, the reach of this video series. And with that, let's jump into what's going on in the stock market and more, actually more importantly, how do we think about this? As I'm recording this early August 2024, uh, market's been up and down, been talking to some folks and golly, you know, things are pretty bad. How, how are we doing? What, how should we think about this. And as uh, longtime viewers know, I do not pay attention to the stock market on a daily basis. Uh, I think it was Jack Bogle who founded Vanguard said that the stock market is a giant distraction to the business of investing. You know, what happens on a daily basis does not uh, make any difference for our long-term investment plans or financial plans for sure. But Taking a look, right, you know, I think it was this past Monday, the market was uh, S&P anyway, down 3% or something like this, biggest drop in a couple of years, and, you know, a lot in the news, and, like, what's going on out here? And, and I want to bring up two things. This is how I do think about it. Uh, one, I'm going to bring up here a, uh, a slide from the J.P. Morgan's Guide to the Market. This is an oldie. You've seen this often if you're a client or if you're a viewer. And uh, on this chart, again, gray bars, that's the S&P 500 return year by year. Red dots are the intra-year decline, so how much the market has gone down between this January and December in any given year. Look over on the far right here. This data is through July 31st, right? So through the end of July, gray bar for S&P 500 up 16%. What's really important with this slide, though, is take a look up at the top here, right? Those red dots, the average intra-year decline. On average, the S&P 500 goes down something in the neighborhood of 15% a year. This year so far through July, it had only been down 5%. Last year, it was down 10% only. Like, listen, this is not unusual. If it go, the S&P drops 15%, it's not what's going on. It's not the election or inflation or job reports or whatever. It's, oh yeah, this is what happens, right? So just a dose of reality to go, even with the recent unpleasantness here of the last week or two, yep, that's how this sucker works. Then the other thing, I was reading something um, from the team at Ritholtz Wealth Management, and they pull up their slide that they had. They've got some awesome information on here. We'll put a link in the show notes to the Irrelevant Investor uh, blog. But take a look at this. I thought this was just such a really cool thing that how often does the S&P go down at least 5%, 10%, etc.? 94% of the time, like virtually every year, the market has at least a 5% decline, right? And I think if I'm looked at, at the numbers, depending on how far back you go in the last month or something, we've seen something like a five or six or seven, I don't know, something like that. You go, that is, you know, it's it's front page news and that's, you know, what, what you get on your feeds and, the, you know, but that is like, Every year we see this. Now, it doesn't always happen in a couple of days or five days or whatever granted, but you know, a 10% drawdown, two thirds of the time, we see a 10% drawdown in the market, right? If the market, and I know we're not down 10% here yet this year, if it goes down 10%, like, oh yeah, as expected, more likely than not, this is what we're going to see. And you can take a look at the other numbers too. I'll point out the last one, 26% of the time we've got a 20% pullback, right? One in four years, we expect the market to go down by 20%. Business as usual, this is part of investing and that's the takeaway. That's the, you know, the action item here is not to panic and to have some perspective and take a look at it and go, oh yeah, this is what happened. A 5% drawdown, yeah, it was kind of quick over the course of a month, but every year it happens. And you know, one out of four, it goes down 20%. Like this is nothing new. And it doesn't necessarily have to do with the election or interest rates or job reports or any of that stuff. This is what happens. This is the price of investing. So that's what I'm thinking about today. As always, interested in knowing what you're thinking about, how you look at it. Have you been nervous the last couple of weeks as the market's been up and down? Uh, shoot a comment in the comment box or uh, send an email to me directly. And as always, thanks for watching.